A very good afternoon, one and all. On behalf of Vivekanand Education Society's College of Art, Science and Commerce, I, Kamlakar Bhopatkar, welcome all the 12th pass out students, their parents, and all other enthusiasts who have joined this webinar on career in data science after 12th. I also welcome our principal, vice principal, and our guest speaker, Mr. Smitraj Raut. This is the world of data. We are surrounded by data, but start for insights. It is expected that the world will contribute around 180 zettabytes of data by the year 2025. And a study shows that data science will create roughly 11.5 million job opportunities by 2026. As we become autonomous last year, we decided to start a new course called BSc Data Science and Data Analytics. This course will not be 
just for science students but also for arts and commerce this webinar has been planned to throw light on this field and our course before i proceed further i would like to invite our principal madam dr anita kavar to introduce to our college over to you principal madam thank you kamlakar sir am i audible yes madam hello yes madam okay thank you so good afternoon and warm welcome to all the students participants who are present over here and to our esteemed guest mr smitraj raut who is our own alumnus our vice principal dr shantini nayar coordinator of computer science department mr kamlakar bopatkar and dr madhavi vaidya madam all invitees my dear students thank you all for joining this very informative session on behalf of vivekanand education society's college of arts science and commerce chembur mumbai uh as kamla kar sir has already informed you firstly i will briefly introduce you all to our college so vivekanand education society's college of arts science and commerce is 43 year old institution it is nac accredited with a grade in third cycle and the institution uh, emphasis is on value education and character building this college is permanently affiliated to university of mumbai and we run 29 courses under the aided and self financing section which we are going to increase now uh, by six more courses which we will be offering under our autonomous status again affiliated to university of mumbai so we have received best college award from the university of mumbai under urban area category we are recipient of funds for improvement of science and technology infrastructure from department of science and technology government of india star college grant from department of biotechnology government of india and uh, there are many such quality awards which we have received uh, from various agencies and all these thing became possible because of very supportive management members and uh, dedicated staff members be it teaching staff or non teaching staff all of them work towards the upliftment of our students and our hard working students who always bring laurel to us in our autonomous status we are affiliated to mumbai university only and are planning to offer six new courses so uh, that includes bcom in finance bcom in e-commerce uh, bachelor of business administration that is bba uh, bsc data science and data analytics ma in public policy and administration and pg diploma in medical lab technology so the course which is highlighted in this webinar is bsc data science and data analytics course which is one of the course out of these six courses since it is highly specialized course we thought of conducting this webinar for the benefit of students and parents to give them clarity on how this course is going to impact their future prospect in job market lot of emphasis will be given to hands on training and experts will be called to teach the student from our side we are not leaving any stone unturned to provide excellent experience to students so we thought of conducting this webinar so because regarding subject matter if experts talk then they will be able to give you the better understanding of bsc data science and data analytics course so uh, we called our own alumni uh, smitraj he will give you more insight into the course content 
I really thank computer science department, uh, especially Kamla Kar sir and Madhavi madam for uh, drafting the syllabus for BSc data science and data analytics course and uh, involving many experts in giving it really a uh, expert touch. Thank you once again. Uh, I thank Smitraj also for accepting our invitation and uh, briefing the students about data science and data analytics course. Thank you. Thank you, Principal Madam, for your constant support and motivation. Now I would like to call our Vice Principal Madam, Dr. Shantini Nair, to say a few words. Respected Dr. Anita Tanwar, Principal of uh, BBS College of Art, Science and Commerce. Uh, Kamla Karsar, our head coordinator for the Computer Science Department, Marty Man, uh, both of whom have been responsible for uh, bringing to light our awareness about data science and data analytics course. Uh, they have worked tremendously for uh, building up the syllabus such that it is industry oriented and I'm sure that our students who take up this course under the autonomous uh, section of our college will learn a lot on uh, data science and data analytics, what are the difference between the two and I'm very glad that this sort of a webinar is uh, being held wherein students will get to know what are the prospects because this is an upcoming field which has a lot of scope if you are good at your subject. So I'm sure that uh, they have built up a reputation with excellent alumni connect uh, wherein the students are willing to come back and give back to the college whenever these teachers have asked of them any help. So that shows that uh, they are worth coming back to giving back to the college. And this is one example where uh, the speaker himself is uh, willing to share his data, his knowledge on what this course can offer to the prospective students. So students, I wish you take this great opportunity for learning in one of the best colleges this side of Mumbai and also taking the benefit so that you can do your internships, you can do your credits under autonomy, you can earn extra credits, you can do internships, you will have good placements and wishing you all the very best for a great future. So I hand over this mic uh, to Kamraka sir. Thank you for having me here sir and wish you all all the very best. Thank you, Madam, for your encouraging words. It is said that you torture the data and it will confess everything. Well, that's how data science and data analytics can be described in one line. But to explain a bit more, we have among us Mr. Smitraj Raut. He is BSc Computer Science and MBA in Data Science and Artificial Intelligence. He has more than 10 years of experience in advanced analytics. AI ML, Big Data, and Data Engineering. He is a skilled data professional with experience in Python, data analysis, natural language processing, machine learning, deep learning, data visualization using BI tools, with a strong understanding of mathematics, statistical inference, and data mining techniques. He has worked in various sectors of Industry 4.0, like banking and insurance, customer analytics, sales and marketing, digital supply chain, computational video and audio analytics, text extraction and analytics, and many more. He has worked in TCS as data scientist, in CoForge as senior data scientist. Currently, he is working in Excel services as data science senior manager. He is also associated with Great Learning Great Lakes in their online data science PG program. And last but not the least, he has consulted various startups in India and US. So without wasting much time, I hand over the session to Mr. Smitraj. Uh, Mr. Smitraj. Yeah, hi, sir. Hi, everyone. Yes, hello. Was, hello, uh, hello, Smitraj. Yeah. It was very uh, grand introduction. Thank you so much. And uh, as our principal ma'am said that lot plethora of courses are being introduced to uh, VES, which is uh, great to know. But uh, what I'm here 
today to tell you about is data science course. So uh, why you have to go with data science course? What are the you know, different aspects of it? What is the future scope of it? So we will discuss about it. That's that's true. But uh, uh, let me just give you a, you know, uh, a brief background of what data science could be actually. It is not specific, just like how it is going on in market right now, that people say data science is a job only for a person who knows about computers. Data science is a job for a person who only knows about programming. It is uh, not that sort. Okay, anyone, any person, maybe arts, commerce, science, or any other field, can pursue his or her career into data science. How? Let's see. I'll just share some details or some PPT with you. Okay. I hope my presentation is visible. So before we begin, let's see what's agenda of today's meeting. So we will see what is data science and data analytics. What does a data scientist do and what does a data analytics person do? Then we we'll processes, what things are there. Then we'll see about the components, which are important components, which makes the science as data science. Okay. Then we'll see a few examples. We'll see what career prospects we get and uh, important subjects that you need to understand before you step into this huge field. So let's see what is data science or data analytics. So begin with beginning with data analytics, what it actually means. Okay, I will uh, give an example of a, a certain example. It's not a perfect example, but yes, I guess it will give you the overview of what it could be actually. Uh, consider uh, a racing industry, you know, the car racing industry or a bike racing industry or any other racing industry. What is there in the industry right now? There is a, there is a team, there's a driver and there's a car, right? So driver drives the car around the racing field. He comes back to corporate. They do some changes into his tires, his fuel. And again, he goes back to the racing track. So what actually happens here? What does the data analytics part we do here okay so here we will first we will we know all the factors okay we know all the factors that in the car there is tire we have to check about the fuel we have to check no or how much time does a particular wheel needs to be changed so these are factors we do analyze okay we see the wear and tear of the tire we see how much fuel is required for this vehicle to just go around how many rounds it takes off particular wheel so we analyze this data we know actually the factors what factors are actually there to analyze this car. So this is all what data analytics is. And we visualize this particular fields. We see, chalo, abha, abhi ye car ke tire ko har do round ke baad change karna padega. Car mein fuel humko har teen rounds ke baad bharna padega. So we are having this analysis. So isse kya hoga? after we get this data, we can tweak or we can tune this data. Hum is data ko thoda sa aur check karke, we can see ki agar humko time kam chahiye, so we can you put so much of fuel into the car, so this car will be fast, because it will come in the cockpit, and it will come in the cockpit. Okay, so that is something which data analysis have, we do. Let's go data analysis. So what could be data science? Okay, so data science, we can see in this manner, that in data analytics, mein we understand that we have already know what we have to do, and we analyze that. In data science, now think about that, when you are on the track, there is a new driver. Okay, same company ki dusri car, car hai. And before we have to analyze, we know how to increase the performance of the car. Or what particular factors, kon se aise factors hai, that is going to affect the performance of the car. Sort of factors, jaysa ki sometimes, you know, the wheel alignment could change after a certain amount of time. So ye humne analysis mein already pada. But now we are going to predict after four rounds, ho sakta hai ye car mein. and if this driver is driving, this car throttle maata, jada speed karta hai, we can understand okay, ki data science, ki data science ke madhyam, so we can understand this 
that he is going to do that problem or we can fix it before it happens. Okay. So let's see what actually happens in data analytics. We have to understand the data. So data kya hai? We need to first understand it. Whenever we are collecting data, hum dekhte usko. Okay, we see ki abhi uh, isme fuel kitna bharna padega, isme uh, how tire mein hawa kitni hai, uh, driver ka top speed kitna hai. So we can, we have the data. We analyze the data ki agar driver ne ye turn pe kitna speed dala, kitna speed kam kya. So we are seeing the, that particular data. Now, what is the cleaning part? Hota hai? What cleaning of data do we do? Ki, suppose we want to sometimes modify a particular entity, just like kilometers or miles per hour. Karna hai. Okay, kabi kabi uh, kya hota hai? Kuch -kuch values jo hoti nahi hai, humko nikal deni padti ki data usme track hi nahi hua. So we remove that. So we have a loss of things. And we visualize the information. Matlab, kya? We will do visualization by different charts. We use different tools use karenge, usko visualize karenge ke liye. Ye bar upar gaya, ye bar niche gaya. Ye is, is bar, uh, what we have to do is no, uh, at this particular time the performance performance went up, at this particular performance went down. So we can visualize this information. So that is what we call as data analytics. In data science part, what actually happens is we largely look at data which is not understood. Jo humko pata nahi hai, humko wo mal malum karna hai. So how do we do it? For that, we need to first figure out the important data. कि अभी हमारे पास फैक्टर्स कौन से होते हैं टायर के हैं फ्यूल के हैं गाड़ी के हैं रेसिंग टीम के हैं और ड्राइवर के हैं बट देयर कैन बी सर्टेन फैक्टर्स कि गाड़ी का जो मॉडिफिकेशन है यू नो गाड़ी का जो लेंथ है गाड़ी का जो डिफरेंट uh, चीजें है बिकॉज़ ऑफ एयर बिकॉज़ ऑफ अदर वेदर कैन अफेक्ट द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द कार सो वी नीड टू आल्सो चेक दैट काइंड ऑफ डेटा ओके वंस वी गेट द डेटा एक्वायर एंड क्लीन इट मतलब क्या है कि उसमें uh, हमको डेटा एक बार मिल गया इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी दैट इट इज इन द प्रॉपर फॉर्म दैट वी रिक्वायर सो हम उसको थोड़ा मॉडिफाई करेंगे नो वी कैन ब्रिंग इन फ्यू थिंग्स टुगेदर कि हमको पता है कि वेयर एंड टायर और टायर की एक्सपायरी सो वी कैन ब्रिंग दिस टू थिंग्स टुगेदर नो डिफरेंट थिंग्स यू कैन डू मिक्स एंड मैच देन वी विल एग्जामाइन एंड इन एग्जामाइन द इंफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम द डेटा एंड वी विल इंप्यूट द मिसिंग वैल्यूज मतलब क्या है कि एक बार हमको डेटा पूरा मिल गया ओके नाउ वी हैव द क्लीन डेटा इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस so we are going to see कि इसमें क्या problem है sometimes को ऐसा होता है कि गाड़ी के sensors okay which takes in the data जैसे कि IOT platforms होते हैं we put the sensors into the car which collects the data randomly and accurately sometimes they miss on few points okay so उस time पे हम वो missing data को कैसे handle करेंगे that we do in data data science thing then we create some hypothesis we are going to make some theory कि ये and we are going to test that theory whether it's a right or wrong. Okay, based on which we are going to provide the business results. So this is all overall we can say data science is and data analytics is. So as you can see, data science is an umbrella and data analytics is a part of data science. Okay, that is providing the data accuracy to the data science people to create models and give the outcome. So now as we have seen what is data analyst, analysis and what is data science, so now we will see what is data analyst do and what does data scientist do. Okay, so in data analyst, we do not require the skills of machine learning. Matlab, usme, we don't have to go for a lot of you know coding. We discussed in starting ki a data scientist should always know what is coding. Not required. Your uh, in initial skills would be just you know, analysis, simple SQL, or just using the BI tools. We can do this thing. So machine learning skill is not required here. Okay, then what does data analyst do? He works on the known data. मतलब हमारे पास जो already data है, हम उसको ही सिर्फ analyze करते हैं. We visualize the results. Okay, we find out this. कि if we have to increase this particular platform, तो हमको help मिलेगी. अगर हम इसको कम कर देंगे, तो इसको help मिलेगी. And we should be a strong communicator. While in data scientist, you need to know the skills of data science. Yes, means you need to know machine learning, deep learning. NLP and other models or other things which comes in the package. So here coding, yes, coding is very important here. Then we have to work on the unidentified data. Just like analyst who works on known data, we have to work on unidentified data. We have to make, we have to find different patterns, different pattern matching is to be done, a lot of things to be done. So we make predictions, hypothesis, and we need to also concentrate on the domain that we are working on. Now, for example, we took a racing industry. 
Similarly, they could be any other industry, you know, banking, insurance, finance. So we need to first understand what is happening. We need to gain that knowledge and then we have to put it into our working. And obviously strong communication skills is very much required. So yes, that is what a data scientist, data analyst or data science and analyst mean. So let's take a look what data science actually is. Okay, so look both the data science, data science. What is data science? Data science is a mixture of three things. First is mathematics and statistics, computer science skills, and business expertise. Yes, nothing much. Okay, so in this, if you can see clearly, I can say that if you have computer science ke skills, it means you know coding background, you have a, a, no, a good coding background, and you have some of the mathematical background, then yes, you can perform machine learning stuff. Machine learning, deep learning, artificial intelligence, a lot of stuff. If you just have a proper business expertise, up agar jada coding me kosa nahi chahte ho, and if you want not just apko business samajna hai or business ke trends samajne hai, okay. For example, uh, we normally do you know uh, stock trading, okay. So we go and see what are the graphs, right? We are not going into detail of how the stocks are happening. We just want to see the graphs, but uske saath hum stocks karte hai, okay. So we are trying to understand the business of what is happening, and we are applying some mathematical background and statistics to it. So that compromise of data analysis and computer science and business expertise is something just like you have a uh, game bana diya, no? or you are going to create some software for a particular company based on pure coding. You are making some websites, making different things where you are not applying other things okay, which will be applied later on, but you are the creator of that software. So that is something called software development for business and expertise. This is something, an overall view or a bird view of what data science is. But data science is combination of all these three things. I know this is very difficult for an individual to have all these skills together, but that is what is required right now. That is what a data science scientist do. He has to take care of all these three fields, mathematics, statistics, business, intelligence, expertise, and computer science. So let's take a look at life cycle. So this is how it works. What things we do in real time? You know, ki, uh, data science use karna pad rahe humko. So let's take an example. Okay, uh, you are supposed into an insurance field. Okay, you are in an insurance company. Mein ho. And uh, you want to suppose give insurance to any uh, customer based on his requirements. Okay, so initially at an analysis phase, we are having the data. We have already data that the company has been doing for 100 years. If this customer's salary is so much, then it will not be this policy. If this customer's salary is so much, then it will not be this policy. If this customer's age is so much, then it will not be this policy. If this customer's age is so much, then it will be this policy. So now what we need to do, we have this data. Now we need to first understand that these policies are being pitched by the company. That is what we call as domain expertise. You know, ki insurance mein jane ke baad, humko jana padega ki what actually the insurance fields do to pitch in their particular uh, uh, policies. Okay. So after that, we do some analysis on the policies. You know, ki based on age criteria, based on salary criteria, based on area criteria, we do some analysis ki ye area mein log itna policy buy karte hain. ये एरिया में पॉलिसी काउंट कम है तो क्या हम यहां पे कोई पॉलिसी में कोई एडिशनल नो इनपुट दे सकते हैं क्या टू इंक्रीज द सेल्स ऑफ द पॉलिसी तो दैट थिंग्स वी ब्रिंग इन द चार्ट सो दिस इज व्हाट वी डू मेनली इन डेटा एनालिटिक्स फॉर देन वी टॉक दिस विद द स्टेक होल्डर मैनेजमेंट स्टेक होल्डर्स कौन होते हैं एक कोई बड़ी कंपनी में ओके द पीपल हु टेक केयर ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोजेक्ट कि दैट आर द स्टेक होल्डर्स सो वी शो देम दिस एनालिसिस वी डू द स्टोरी टेलिंग we tell them that we can modify these things, then I guess we can increase the sales of this particular you know, uh, policy. Or whenever a new customer will come in, based on whatever inputs he has given, we can directly pitch a policy directly. We don't have to manually go or have our ask agent to convince the particular customer. That is what we call business communication with the management. Okay. Then we do the consulting. Consulting part me kesa hai ki we are people who are going to give them that service, right? So we are going to create that software for them. We are going to put that data science and analysis into that. We are going to create a model which will predict what policy to give home, what policy we should include, what policy we should not include. 
how to increase sales. So we are going to give this stuff or consulting to the customer. And once that is done, the problem solving is done. So that problem is solved and now they are working fine. That is what a life cycle looks like. So in this, we use a lot of, lot of stuff. You can see here, we use mathematics, we use statistics, we see the patterns, we mine the data. That is, we take the data from existing database, we do for machine learning, we can put AI, we can do neural networks, data visualization, etc. So AI, AI is something, you know, uh, we have chatbots. This is how we chat on our bank, bank website. Se. And we can get the particular information similar. That is how the life cycle looks like. And now let's take a look at components of data science. These are the very four basic components which we require. The so first is data strategy. So whenever you are going to create a model or whenever you are going to create something using data science, you need to first have a strong strategy. You know, you need to know about research methodology, like what all things you need to do to collect the data, what all data you would require, what all factors are there which would you know, uh, help you in understanding what is to be done. So that is a data strategy which you do. Then it's data engineering. So is me kya hota hai? data engineering me kya hota hai? You have a database, okay? You have strategized thing that we I will require this data to do my stuff, okay? So now from cloud or any other servers where your data is stored, you are going to take the data, mine the data. Okay. Aapko data ko le loge, utha loge. Aap usko streamline karoge. Phir aap usko apne machine mein. Ya phir aapke, you know, kaam ke liye use karna chalo karoge. That is the data engineering part. Then we have analysis part. So once you have the data, we will start to analyze it. Ki data mein trends kya hai, data mein patterns kya hai. We are going to check those things. And once we have those things, we are going to create and visualization. So these all things compromise or for the basis of data science. Uh, let's take a look at the examples. Abhi, uh, we are you know, living in the era of IoT, Internet of Things. Okay. So each and every device or each and every browser, anything you which are, which are using is collecting your data right now to understand what is a person's behavior towards a particular thing. Now let's see, let's take a look at advertising. Okay. So whenever uh, you are going to a particular website, you click on any page or you click on you know, or you search for uh, anything. Okay. You can see a particular ad on a website and all of a sudden you realize, yaar, ye mujhe chahiye thi. Aur uske ad bhi aage. let me click on this and buy, buy this thing. Or you can say, Are ye course mujhe chahiye tha. Yo course ke mujhe link automatic aage. how is it possible? Let me just click and take it. So these things, they use in the world of advertisement that they are reading your pattern, what things you are doing in your day to day life, what things you normally search and they will recommend you this thing. Ki bhai ye lo, ye ad hai. So click karo, apna kaam karo. That is it. So internet searches, you have seen that lot of things, you know, whenever you want to search about any song on YouTube or you want to search for a text on you know, Google, you just type two, three letters of initial letters and you get a whole recommendation that you are searching for this and that is Accurate. How? So here we are using a lot of combinations from past data. So they are trying to give the top best five or ten picks. That is how they do. In e-commerce, if you go, just like we are saying, you know, a lot of uh, e-commerce sites are there, Flipkart, Amazon, XYZ. They, they are analyzing the patterns of customer on every season, every month, what things do they buy? How much amount of things do they buy? So according to that, वही दिन पे आपको वही particular advertisement आ जाएगी. You would you would like to you know you would like to buy this particular thing. Or you will be fascinated. आप सोच सोचने सोचने पड़ जाएंगे कि इसको मालूम किसे पड़ा कि मुझे ये चीज़ खरीदनी है. So that is something which they use in the field of e-commerce. Education में yes education में lot of lot of things are there. You know understanding the students' behavior. How to improve the class uh, no, uh, performance, how to analyze the teachers, ki teachers kesa perform kare. So we do all of these things in educational field. Uh, the biggest uh, example nowadays you can see we have a lot of courses going on. Udemy ho gaya, Great Lakes ho gaya. then we have uh, no, Baiju, a lot of lot of lot of uh, educational fields are using the data science into their no, field to understand the performance of their children and their teachers.
And last but not least, banking insurance. As now I have explained you about the policies, how to pitch it. So how much money can we get out of it? So there are PDF. In PDF, mein we can just have the text. We can extract the text. We can create a database out of it. So a lot of things can be done. So what are the careers for career prospects all over? Now, data science or data analysis, but ne ke baad kya kya ban sakte ho? Okay, what things you can become? So yes, you can become all these things, whichever you want to go ahead in. If you are interested, ki mujhe sirf SQL me interest, database me interest hai, you can become database administrator. It is comp, it is uh, giving the feed feed to the data scientist. If you are okay that mujhe sab kuch pata hai, I can do. Uh, no, full on, then you can become data scientist. If you want that, you just want to give, you know, an analysis background, or you just want to help the business with your statistical mind, then you can obviously become a statistician or a data analyst. Okay, then you can become data architect, ML ops engineer, data engineer. So data engineer, what actually he does is he gives the data to the data scientist after analyzing it, and data scientist does the other work. So that is that is that that is the thing. So you can become all these things once you do uh, data science or analyst courses. So what are the important subjects that you need to understand? No, to start your data science career. First is research methodology. You need to understand then what kind of data would be required for your problem solving skills. Okay. Suppose you want to solve a problem of an, uh, you know, any uh, banking industry. You want to solve a problem of a business uh, no perspective, say going uh, e-commerce or e-commerce uh, field. Guy, you want to solve any problem. Or in the solve a problem of some you no know, racing industry or gaming industry, you need to first understand what things are needed. What is the basis that you would want? That comes again to the business expertise and domain knowledge. So you need to research on that particular thing to understand what will be requirements. Then we need statistics. Statistics is very very important. Uh, now now what happens is many people are worried. Are statistics is it? But for a time be work uh, mathematics kiya in once you start statistics you will start loving it because it is very easy it is not rocket science it is very easy very easy to understand and i guess uh, we have very good teachers into vs college who can make you understand these things okay so statistics is very very important basis of data analysis and data science both both then you can learn python and r python and r why i'm saying these two things because they are easily available they are uh, you know, easily installable to any platform, any machine. Apart from this, you can, if you are choosing to go for you no know, business analysis side, then you can go for BI tools. The BI tools are n numerous, number of BI tools there, mainly Tableau, Power BI, and a lot of tools are there, so which you can, you know, keep on searching. But Python and R is something. Uh, these two tools are very free of cost, and you can do anything, any analysis, data science stuff. You can do anything on these two tools. Then warehousing and mining is something you need to understand how you store the data, how you take out the data which you require. So these two things are very much important to understand the storing, you know, understand the security of how to store these things. And then yes, machine learning and AI, deep learning and neural nets. Machine learning AI is something you can say uh, the best example for right now I can give you is uh, a Tesla car. Okay, so Tesla car is a byproduct of machine learning and AI, you know, understanding the patterns. Whenever a car is going towards the road, it understands the first time it took care of the 101%. Second time, it understood that there's a stone in front of you, so I have to take a left or right turn. So in that way, just keep on learning. No, they keep on learning this thing that's called artificial intelligence. So you will get to know once you enter this course. So uh, any questions, if you have, you can know, uh, send it across to uh, Professor Sir, or you can, I will give my email ID also, you can send it to me as surely. Love to answer questions, or you can also keep in the comments box. You can put the questions. So yeah, that's it from my side. And uh, giving a brief introduction, you know, I have I have been a student of VS College uh, for my graduation. I have done uh, BSc in Computer Science, and uh, at that point of time, we were not having that background or what, what data science could be. But as you can see, nowadays. Data sciences grew humongously. So people are just want to step into it, but no one knows what is to be done. You know that that that's the, that's the problem. So, I guess I have seen the curriculum. I have also given my own feedback to you know uh, this curriculum in uh, VES College. So I guess the teachers here, 
basically um, Kamla Kar Sir, Madhvi Mem. These are the best teachers or best professors that you can find around who can give you a proper and good input on these insects. And uh, I have worked with them closely. I know uh, how good they are. Uh, I am the byproduct of this uh, whole particular college. And once they when they have introduced this data, data science course, I was very excited. You know that uh, we did not get this platform, but yes, right now the students who are going to come in, they are surely going to get the piece of this cake. So all the best. And uh, I'm sure many of you will like to join this course. It's very exciting. And a uh, few things are there, which Kamala Kalsar and Madhvi Ma'am would surely uh, tell you. Thank you. Everyone. OK. Thank you, Smitraj, for giving the insights of this field and the subjects to the audience. Uh, here, I would like to mention that the syllabus of this course is there on our site. From that, FY syllabus is fixed. SY and TY syllabus will be fine-tuned in the subsequent years. So uh, we'll take a few questions. Uh, I request uh, office representative also to join our session. By that time, uh, the office representative joins. I will take a few uh, questions which we have received on the uh, chat box. Just a minute. Uh, so how much SQL is needed to learn or to master data science this is one question. Yeah, so SQL is, you know, the basics which you need to understand Be because right now a lot of industries are using the SQL as a database, right? So whenever you want this data, okay, to, okay, I'll just put it in the can I visible? Yeah. So why SQL is important? Whenever you want some data to be mined, okay, and if you are using the SQL type of database, then you will have to query the data to get that data streamed in, okay, to your platform so that you can code on the data. So yes, SQL is very much important. Also, lot of analysis. You know, if you are using BI tools or if you are using any other tools, SQL is the basics which you need to understand. You know, to join the tables. To you know to get the data streamed input, so a lot of things to be done. That is why SQL is right now important. But as and when we are growing in future, we are totally moving towards no SQL type of uh, you no know, technology. So right now, yes, SQL is important. But in future, we are going to mostly use no SQL. Uh, another question is uh, how many tools uh, we are required to learn to master this because uh, there are lots of tools like Tableau is there, Power BI is there. So exactly uh, how many uh, to master? Uh, see, there is no count of this. You don't have to master any tool as of now. Okay. You don't worry about this BI tools at all. They are very easy. Once you get into the course or once you start doing this on the freeware, you will get to know it's just drag and drop stuff. What is the main thing you need to understand is the statistics and the mathematics behind it. You need to, you need to understand how to read the data. BI tool is just, you know, a zariya. The main thing is to understand what data is telling you. You can use Python, you can use R. These are very basic, very easy to learn and uh, a good thing to start. Apart from that, there are you no know, lots of lots of tools which will come into existence again in the future as well. But right now, Power BI Tableau is something which will suffice your need, but which is very easy to learn, not difficult. Uh, are there any uh, post-graduation courses and uh, exactly what to look for after this BSc uh, Data Science, Data Analytics? Okay, in that case, see, uh, I come from a background of computer science. I have done my BS in computer science. Okay, when I was moving towards this field, I had done a lot of self-study. But when I went to the curriculum of this course, okay, you can see that almost everything is covered. No, there is nothing to be worried about that later on we have to do some PG course. Yes, obviously, if you want to go for a doctorate or something, you can do advanced courses. But uh, if you just want to be a good data scientist and stuff, I guess this course is suffice. Don't have to 
worry about going ahead. But if you're interested in research, then obviously you can do MBA, you can do PhD and a lot of things. Okay. I think there is a question from, I feel art student that how do I, uh, get comfortable with all the computer related subjects because my background is arts, but uh, I would like to do something in data science. See, if you have background in arts, it doesn't mean that it will be difficult for you to pick up the thing. See, now you first will streamline whether you want to for go into data science field or analyst field. If you want to go for analyst field, coding is totally cut out from there. Okay. You need to just understand you know, how to visualize the stuff how to do the codes are available on the internet. You can just copy and paste and you can just try to visualize there are a few things, but understanding the visualization is something important. If you want to move into the data science field, then you have to give some more concentration you know, on uh, mathematics or statistics, starting from the basics. Then you have to start learning to create you know, uh, a lot of modules, functionalities. So you need to learn those things in initial stages that will totally give you the you know, uh, basis to start your career and it should not take more than, you know, if you're really interested, it should not take more than three months, four months to you start. Uh, uh, any office representative has joined because there are some admission related questions. Sure. Meantime, uh, is there any scope to do research uh, after data science and what kind of kind of projects or research can be done? Right now, there is a huge scope, you know, uh, you can uh, right now what we're trying to see data science is something which we're trying to create a different human being after all. Okay. If, if you see in this manner that uh, you have a person in front of you, you can do all your work X, Y, Z starting from, you know, uh, waking you up to doing some certain stuff, cleaning or doing dusting, driving your car, X, Y, Z. Okay. So how, how fast and how good or how relaxing that would be for you, right? So in field of data science, what we are actually trying to find out is creating a different human being by using a computer and your mathematical skills. So yes, there is a lot of research to be done in case of neural networks in understanding the human brain is how the human brain is actually functioning in different aspects right now the most hot side or the most difficult part which everyone is trying to understand is how the human emotions are playing the role in decision making okay so if we can figure out you know, that pattern or we can you know, go to such a level to create or understand the emotions of human being that would be you know, something uh, great or no biggest innovation that has happened yet in the world of data science and neural networks. So yes, right now, if you want to research something, if you want deeply want to research into, you know, uh, you know, something and understand a good things about data science is something neural network research. You can go in that, that particular thing. So in that things, you will have to first study about the human brain. Uh, you can interact with neuroscience. Uh, and a lot of stuff. So yes, uh, that, that particular thing is something which I'm also interested in in researching ahead. So you can go in that research. Apart from that, uh, robotics is there. You can you know, help, help different uh, things. So then we have rocket science and a lot of, lot of things. We can go in the application with the data science. So you can research on a lot of things. There is no particular, you know, uh, point or a particular uh, option to it. Okay. Uh, I would like to invite Madhvi Madam to give a vote of thanks. So good evening, everyone. On behalf of our organization, Vivekan Union Society's Art, Science and Commerce, I, Dr. Madhvi Vaidya, would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to our management and trustees for giving us an opportunity. I have unmuted. Uh, 
an opportunity to conduct such talks and webinars and introducing such standard courses like data science and data analytics under our autonomous. My sincere thanks to our principal, Dr. Anita Kanwar and vice principal, Dr. Shantri Nair for always supporting us. Thank you, Mrs. Mitraj Raut, alumnus of Department of Computer Science for delivering such a wonderful talk in his crisp language. I thank Mr. Kamlakar for taking initiative to arrange this session and Mr. Shashank Zoshi, a technical team in charge for taking care of the required technicalities. Last but not the least, many, many thanks to participants who took part in this webinar and the one who would watch it later on our ESASC YouTube channel. Thank you once again. Now I will announce that this webinar is over. Thank you.